Hello and welcome to this course titled TypeScript Basics. This course is an introduction to the TypeScript programming language. In this course, we will learn what TypeScript is, we'll learn some of the features of TypeScript and how to use it to build end-to-end -end applications. This, as the title says, is a basic course. It gets you started with writing TypeScript and it's not gonna cover some of the more advanced features. But learning TypeScript is, I think, essential uh, today with the kind of impact it's made to the JavaScript programming landscape. Uh, whether you're working on like a front-end application using Angular or React, or a back-end application using Node.js, uh, if, you're written, if you're writing code in JavaScript, it's very handy to know TypeScript and use TypeScript whenever it's appropriate. So in this course, you're gonna be having a complete overview of those basic features and it'll get you started with writing code using TypeScript. All right, so what's the agenda of this course? We'll learn what TypeScript is and why it was created. And then uh, we'll learn the language features and we'll learn some core concepts. This is not gonna be covering just the syntax. Right? I'm going to be talking about some of the core principles so that when you learn the principles, you will never forget the syntax. And then finally, we will be building an end-to-end -end application using TypeScript. Uh, I will be walking through a command line TypeScript application. You can either watch me code or you can follow along and build it uh, together. And I'll be also uploading the source code to this application on the Java Brains course page. So check that out if you're following along. What are the prerequisites for this course? I expect you to have some JavaScript programming knowledge, some JavaScript programming experience, because TypeScript is very closely related to JavaScript. And I will not be covering some of the concepts in JavaScript that are kind of essential for you to start writing code in TypeScript. So knowing some JavaScript is helpful. And then you should also have some experience with some other object-oriented programming language. In this course, I'll be covering a lot of object-oriented programming concepts like classes, interfaces, inheritance, polymorphism, and all that stuff. And I'll not be explaining those concepts. So you should have some familiarity with those concepts. You should know what they are. Now here's the plan, the roadmap for the course. We'll start off with unit one, introduction and setting up. Learn what TypeScript is and why it was created. We'll also set up our development environment to start writing code using TypeScript. Unit two covers some of the basic features, uh, starting with types. Types is a very important thing in TypeScript, as the name suggests, it's TypeScript. TypeScript introduces the concept of typing, which is very handy. We'll start our journey with TypeScript using those types. Uh, unit three covers classes and interfaces. This is where we cover a whole lot of object-oriented programming concepts that TypeScript provides for us. In unit four, we will actually revisit the development environment that we set up in unit one. The setup that we do in unit one is very bare bones. And uh, in unit four, we're gonna revisit it. We look at some cool tools that we can use to simplify our life as TypeScript developers and uh, make things more efficient. We'll also look at some configuration options for the TypeScript compiler. We'll tackle all that in unit four. In unit five, we're gonna put all the things we have learned so far into practice by doing hands-on development. Again, like I said, you're gonna watch me code a simple end-to-end -end command line application. You can either follow along step-by-step step, or you can sit back, watch, take notes perhaps, and build a completely different application. 